cuties, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I dyed my hair blue. Watching Alicia Marie's Drinking Some Coffee. Let's get to this makeup. I'm using a moisturizer to start off with. This one's by Better Skin. Moving on to Pore. This is one of the new ones, one that Makeup Revolution came out with. And it is definitely for minimizing my pores. I'm going on with the semi-medium full coverage with Tarte and concealing whatever I can with e.l.f. new 24 hours. Then I'm going on with the Tarte Beauty just to brighten it up a bit. And I just wanted to go with something easy. I have Models Own to bronze up my skin just a little bit and baking afterwards because I really do have oily skin. Moving on to brows, I'm using Flower Cosmetics and supporting another YouTuber, Franny. Then going on for the bronzer powder, again, Makeup Revolution has this new one which I absolutely love. And now we're using my Mario by Descu, the lavender one, which is my favorite spray to set my makeup. And we're going to apply some Huda Beauty for that Huda Glow. I will be finishing my makeup off camera because unfortunately my battery died. So I ended up stopping what I was doing. I shopped MrBeast.com for his new t-shirts that came out. But as you guys see earlier, I was watching other people's videos on YouTube because I do love supporting YouTubers with their YouTube as well because I do it and I ran into this video. Let me explain something. Yes, there's been some drama in the beauty community. Yes, there has been, but that doesn't mean that the beauty community isn't beautiful, isn't strong, isn't empowering, and there's bigger things to do, obviously. But for someone to say this about a beauty community that's not even as much dedicated in the beauty community, it's kind of like, really, bruh? I was literally doing my makeup. I'm almost done. I'm like, I'm going to comb my hair, then get back to the video. My camera literally died, so I ended up charging it using the other one. And I was just watching Tiffany Mod. Now, I know that she has had some problems back then on the YouTube. And I get it, girl. I understand. But for you to put a statement out there like that, it's like... It's not your place. I'm not saying that I have thousands of views and I have thousands of followers. I mean, she has a really great support when it comes to the YouTube community. But for her to say this, it's kind of like disturbing to say, honestly. And it's just, I've grown up watching the beauty community. I've grown up seeing them turn into wives and turning into moms and just being able to grow, have their own industry, have their own makeup line. I've been watching YouTube for a pretty long time and I finally decided to get onto it and get on the roll. And for someone that I understand that has been in YouTube for a really long time and that has different viewers and has a different point of view, it's, it's kind of upsetting that she has this type of point of view and is giving out this type of point of view. This is where it gets to the part where I don't believe that she had the right to say this, okay? Drama in the beauty community. Luckily, it's not affecting me because I'm not in the beauty community. And I don't think I would ever want to be in the beauty community because they're all cutthroat. And that's the two. I feel like... It's like, excuse you, no offense, baby girl, but... There's a lot of people in the beauty community that aren't cutthroats, according to you, that actually stand by and love what they do and are passionate to what they do. Maybe she had a bad experience. Maybe she had a fallout. I've seen her try to do makeup videos. I've seen her call out a lot of makeup brands. I've seen her do a lot of ads of makeup. First, so for her to say that she doesn't want to be in the beauty community, yet she's done a lot of things for the beauty community, it's like, no, sweetheart. But anyways, I'm going to finish getting ready. I just honestly, I'm... A little bit ticked off of this situation but then she continues on just doing a wannabe mukbang video like if what she said was accurate and keep in mind that she does edit this video she edits her own video so for her to add something like this without even thinking about it it's kind of upsetting for a youtuber to even say that on a community level on a on a community level that she's not even in I just don't understand why she would even say that. Most of the beauty communities are hard worker. They donate, they share, they put true stories about, they give you tips. They are able to just teach you certain things and they're very heartwarming. Now, obviously maybe the big platforms, maybe not, but there's a lot of people who are 
YouTubers that love doing makeup videos and aren't anything that she said. So for her to say that, it's just like, no, sweetheart. I feel like if you're a mukbanger and you made a lot of noise, you're very popular. So I'm just going to do this for like 10 seconds. Let me know if you guys hate it or if I should do a mukbang where I eat with really bad manners. Like as if she enjoyed. Alright beauties, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and everything that I did say, it kind of did irk me that someone with such a beautiful platform ends up saying such horrible things about the beauty community that she's not quote unquote in. And honestly, I do understand that there's so many YouTubers out here that are doing beauty makeups that are so freaking amazing. And I hope you guys know that you guys are beautiful in every way and I'll see you guys in my next video. And this is with the Poseidon. I ended up doing like some semi-space ones. I'm not really good at it. I'm learning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. <sighs>